What would you do if you had no fear of failure and judgment? This is a question I've been asking myself recently and it's really led me down a powerful thought process of like thinking about what I'm doing with my life and where I'm going and really what I really want to do because at the end of the day, a lot of our choices are just kind of restricted by this fear of like what people will think around us. Like what if we fail? Like how will we look? In reality, fucking nobody gives a shit except for you. So I guess I was going to make this video about why I wanted to start a YouTube channel in 2022 but then i realized that like at the core i'm really starting it because it's something i know that i would want to do if i was not ruled by fear of failure and judgment and this is like such a powerful decision making tool that i've come across recently where just think about if you were a third person you know talking to you now would you be doing what you're doing right now if you had no fear of failure or judgment like would you be stifled and not make any new friends and not talk to that stranger you really want to talk to, right? I'm really a big believer that we've kind of been brainwashed by the society and environment around us that like people don't want to be talked to, like people are not friendly, like everyone's fucking different from you and weird and mean and like, I don't know, I just feel like this kind of division and demoralization almost of everyone around us is just not healthy, it's not right, like we've been tricked, we've been tricked into thinking that people don't want to be friendly and don't want to you know socialize and meet new people a great example of this is when you're at the gym people always say like you know no one at the gym wants to talk to you like everyone's just trying to get through their workout right but one thing I noticed is that actually some of the friendliest people and some of the coolest people to vibe out with at the gym are actually the ones who are in there working the hardest I mean who started this stigma of you know, we go to the gym and we just put on our headphones and we go into our own world and it's just not a place to meet new friends. Like, who said that? Who decided that? All of the greatest people I know, like the people I respect the most, all work out to some extent. It's such a perfect breeding ground for the types of people that you know have a common interest with you, are working hard, have that kind of discipline that you also have, have the very similar goals and dreams and experiences as you do. What a better place is there to meet like-minded people that you would get along with? At the end of the day, I'm far, 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 far from perfect in this concept, especially. Like, I'm only just beginning my journey and trying to get over my own fears and judgment in many areas of my own life. Whether that's making the career pivot that I've always wanted to make, study the stuff I always wanted to study, talk to the people I really wanted to talk about and talk to and meet them. At the end of the day, like, the only thing that I want you to get out of this video is to think about what would you do? What decisions would you make if you had no fear of judgment and failure? Because those fears do not serve us and only serve to demoralize us and trick us into being less of ourselves.